Bang! Needs and Hives, I'm Jared, and here we have the new Quiet Carry model, and I have to say, I had to hurry up and get it on film, and we're going to go through this pretty quick because I have a live about we're about to do here in just a minute. So, if, hey, if you guys don't know, we have a live every Wednesday and Saturday at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. So, if you want to join, um, come on through. So, this knife is, as soon as I took it out, I, I rushed to open it, but right when I opened it, if you guys know, like, when you open up a knife and you, you know right away. Like, as soon as you lay hands on it, you just, as soon as you open it, you're like, yeah, you're going to, and you already know you love it. You already know. It's like one of those knives that it's like they did everything so good that it just, you're so happy. It's like, damn it. And that's one of these moments. This thing, I am very, very happy and impressed with it. They're using ceramic caged bearings instead of the normal washer action like on the Waypoint. And I've tried the other quiet carries, but this is the only one that I own at the moment. Well, until now. But this is their new model, and it is riding on ceramic caged bearings, 20 CV. I kind of wish it was Van Axe, but it's fine. Titanium scales that are slightly contoured with this beautiful fat carbon inlay. The thumb studs are far away from the scales, so they're super easy to deploy. I mean, <laughs> the detent is so good. It's so good. Then they have great access to the lock bar, so it's very easy to disengage, very comfortable to disengage. You know, it has a real good premium feel to that lock bar, and damn it, is it smooth. The blade geometry, you can see, very thin blade, or a nicely thin blade, so it's very thinly ground. So this is going to be a very good cutter. Sharpening toil and plunge grind. They separated the plunge grind from the edge pretty far, so I'm happy with that. I prefer this to be a little deeper, but it's not that big of a deal. I can always, you know, carve that out a little bit, and there's more than enough room for me to do that, so very, very cool. The titanium milled deep carry clip works so good. I've already slid it in and out of the pocket. This is one of the smoothest clips that I've felt in a long time. It goes in and out so effortlessly. Very, very good. Also, look at the cutout on the lock bar for the lock bar relief. It's mostly cut out on the inside and only slightly on the outside. So that makes it to where the clip, it just, it's so smooth going, you know, in and out. Titanium backspacer. You can see the four dots from Quiet Carry, their signature. Um, T8 hardware all the way around, it looks like. Yep, all the way around, even on the steel lock bar insert. Beautiful stone wash on the blade on this sheep's foot blade. You can call it a clip point. You can call it a sheep's foot. Call it what you want. I'm going to call it a sheep's foot. Um, but the ergos are hand melting. And this is another reason why I knew right away that I was going to love it. I pulled it out. I opened it up. And I wrapped my fingers around it, and it was like, oh my goodness, that is comfortable. Then you spin it around to see if I can cut straps, very comfortable. Pinch grips, very comfortable. Reverse grips, very comfortable. Everything is comfortable with this. Maybe I'm just in a honeymoon phase, but I'm very, very, <laughs> I'm so happy I got this because I almost thought that I didn't because I, like, I have a vague memory of buying it right when I seen it. Uh, but then I was thinking like, oh, maybe I didn't buy it, you know, because uh, I thought maybe, you know, I was just gonna, I was maybe gonna, but then didn't. And uh, then all of a sudden, bang, in the mail, here it is. I'm so happy I did, especially after getting it, my hands on it. The sound is really good, too. I don't know if it'll come over the mic. It doesn't have the chingy sounds, but it has a nice metallic, strong lockup sound. The lockup is very solid, too. All directions are vault-like. Beautiful steel lock bar insert. The lock face geometry feels very well done. The stop pin is a little bit on the smaller side. They have lots of milling on this side or, you know, some milling on this side right here to bring down the weight. The weight's good, though. I'm happy with it. So, yeah, um, I, I'm like I said, I'm very, very, very impressed. I'm so happy I got this. Now, I don't think there's any in stock right now. 
They do have some waypoints in stock. And then you can get that in Vanax. Super clean. Which I wish this had Vanax because, you know, Quiet Carry is like the, the one of the only companies using Vanax. So, you know, I, I, I wish it was Vanax. It's not, but that's okay. Um, this is an awesome, awesome knife as well. And you can get these, by the way. You, I believe there's plenty of these um, that... Plenty of these that are available, even with different colors. They have a knurling one. They have the flat one. This is the flat one. They have G10 models, I believe. Um, they have a lot of different options with the waypoint. So if you want to, check out Quiet Carry's website. I'm not affiliated in any way, so it's not going to be linked below, but go and check them out if you want to get yourself a Quiet Carry. This right here is a basically a knife that's in, that's corrosion proof it, damn near at least to the, it's to the highest extent of corrosion proof uh because it's vanex steel which is damn near corrosion proof um and it has washers and the the liners are lc 200n the scales are titanium this is marine grade stainless so just everything on it is to the highest level of stainless you can get you're never gonna have to worry about corrosion with a quiet carry waypoint now this one being 20 cv you know 20 cv is a very very good stainless it's a very very high stainless so it's not like it's um susceptible to corrosion but you know people do from time to time you know get a little corrosion on their 20 cv or their m390 so it is a steel even though it's really 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 good and better than most you still you know want to be careful with it and with any steel you want to take care of it but you know you want to make sure you keep it oiled keep it dry keep it clean and you'll be just fine but it is one of the highest stainless steels um, especially for a high wear resistant steel. Now I'm not sure what they are heat treating their 20 CV to. Um, to be honest, I've, I don't think I've ever tested Quiet Carry's 20 CV. They are made in Taiwan, by the way. Ooh. But yeah. Anyways, there you guys go. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.